We know that MBR breeds and sells beagles for toxicology testing and the like, but they have an unpleasant and upsetting sideline. The Home Office project licence for MBR is for the production of laboratory animal bioproducts. The animals chosen for donation of bioproducts can be ex-breeders, surplus stock or those deemed unsuitable for sale. For example, have a mild congenital malformation such as monochidism, which is an undescended testicle that would otherwise have been humanely killed without any positive use. Really? These will all be relatively young adult dogs. On site is a veterinary suite used for euthanasia and terminal bleeds as well as live donor bleeds. Also a separate procedure area where live bleeds and blood processing takes place. Terminal bleeding is undertaken when animal tissues or fluids are required such as whole blood, plasma, serum and preserved tissues such as musculoskeletal, intestinal, pancreatic and liver and body fluids such as urine, cerebrospinal fluid and bile. MBR have a team of people who, who are quote highly skilled at the removal of tissues and fluids. I wonder which people are highly skilled. Guessing they're not veterinary surgeons. To harvest maximum volumes and meet the specifications such as must be barbiturate free or fresh and never frozen, procedures will be carried out on live donor animals or on animals under terminal general anaesthesia. Following a procedure for the collection of blood from an animal under anaesthetic from which it is not allowed to recover, tissues and organs may be harvested or the cadaver may subsequently be used for educational purposes. So is there a market for dead beagle bo bodies? A dog's suitability for use and reuse as a donor is determined by its behaviour during the course of a procedure. Dogs that are unsuitable to continue as donors are reused on a terminal procedure or humanely killed. There is a mention that consideration will also be given to whether the dog would be deemed suitable for rehoming according to the Marshall's rehoming policy. I can't actually find any reference to the Marshall rehoming policy. So how many dogs are used at MBR Acres for the production of laboratory animal bioproducts? Over a five year period, blood sampling under terminal anaesthesia, 250 dogs. Blood sampling without anaesthesia, 35 dogs. So these are the blood donor dogs. A dog may be bled up to four times a month to a maximum of 15% of their circulating blood volume each time. This is around 52 blood samples per year for as many years as they are deemed healthy. All authorised procedures shall be carried out under general or local anaesthesia unless Anesthesia would be more traumatic to the animal concerned than the procedures themselves or anesthesia would be incompatible with the purposes of the procedures. I'll leave that with you.